Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this Axis VM training course. A new topic, this one called Steel Design, and uh, we will also split this topic in two lessons. Um, this is basically uh, the same idea as the previous topic. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, details, a lot of uh, small concepts that uh, are needed to uh, be clear and understood uh, in the program. So we will simply highlight some dialog boxes with some features and uh, we will invite you to see uh, our other videos with practical examples and uh, information that we have also in our reserved area uh, where we show all, all of these topics and all of these uh, explanations. Besides, um, if you connect also with our YouTube channel and uh, with our uh, reserved area, we will release uh, in the very near future uh, more specific information about uh, many uh, items, many topics, many features of the program. So please stay connected and uh, you'll get all of these things. So still design. Um, this has uh, some modules. One of these modules is the uh, SD1 that is still beam design. Um, so uh, the, the button is uh, this steel design um, and we can apply this design to steel beams uh, in several shapes, Not in it's not uh, open. Uh, so we have these design parameters where we have uh, the possibility to define a lot of things. So cross sections, shapes, we have a library, uh, ULS or uh, SLS, so we can define things around here. Design approach, uh, what uh, is the method uh, saying on this way that we define for this approach. Um, design members uh, and uh, also some choices about these topics. Coefficient for uh, seismic forces, which we can define also. Buckling coefficients, and there are multiple choices about them, uh, either uh, the value as uh, having or not flexural buckling. Um, some option also for this lateral torsional buckling and a couple of things more. Um, also some features for these buckling coefficients in fire and we have uh, specific definitions for this case and I think this resumes a lot of, of the things around this, uh, this command. Um, then we have uh, on uh, this side uh, something that I'm not uh, probably uh, I will not be able to show you, but we can try at least because I don't think I have uh, elements for this. But uh, for example, let's try this one. So, okay, uh, joint design. This is basically uh, a joint design where we can define, um, let, let me take this out, where we can define uh, the design of bolted joints that uh, I don't have here. I should have uh, prepared something for this. But uh, you can explore. Uh, basically, you can define um, some proper shapes to have these bolts uh, joining them and to have these uh, particular um, parameters and uh, calculations associated to this topic. Um, then we have uh, also this uh, steel cross section, steel cross section around here, optimization. Um, we can add some uh, groups and then we can get some shapes. So we have these guys around here and we can uh, try to optimize them. Okay, uh, We have the, the goal for the optimization and we can define a couple of things. We can manage uh, in the library the shapes we have and so on. Okay, 
and the cross sections and whatever we, we have around here, some dimensions. And uh, regarding the optimization, we have a couple of, uh, or saying better, a table showing a couple of things which can be uh, worked out uh, around this. And uh, basically, uh, for this lesson, uh, that's uh, what I had to show you. Uh, just to mention that this particular uh, item here, this uh, steel cross-section optimization, this is another module of, of the software. In this particular case, it's the SD9 module. Uh, also, it's very practical uh, interest, but uh, it was in, important also to mention this uh, in this uh, particular video. Uh, again, uh, any question or any particular uh, help that you may need about this topic, let us know. And uh, we will give you all the necessary support about this or other things that uh, you might have in question.